Okay, let's see uh, see if I can do this here. This is this, uh, I'm trying to study this magnet motor that this guy made. And this is uh, where I'm at with this thing. Um, the driver is in there. And in his uh, design, he used plywood, thick plywood. And I think they everybody seems to think he hollowed out the plywood and put the driver in the base of his device. But I've simulated that here by putting the coil in the reed switch and just a button cell inside that little cavity there. And um, it makes a pretty good illusion. And that's what I call this an illusion. Um, this is uh, my rotor, it's just a lid with two of those ring magnets and those little trip wires that trip a mechanism on the other side here to make this look like it is actually um, running on a, a magnetic field alone and it isn't but it, it makes a really good illusion and as this thing goes back and forth it's supposed to push on the dead zone in the middle of that ring magnet in such a way that the rotor keeps going around and around let me see if i can get this going here it's delicate that's one thing he said about his was it's delicate and he's right it is delicate Okay, that's just going to kind of roll to a stop there. But i got to make an adjustment to make sure the magnetic fields are all right here. Let's see if I get the magnetic fields right. And there's your magnet motor. It looks pretty cool, actually. I mean, the the um, the way he had that set up and everything, because it doesn't go real fast. I mean, it looks like it is just running on a magnetic field. And of course, he has another video where he puts a candle on it, so it looks like there's no air being blown on it. And then he has a clock and everything, but this is a pretty good um, illusion. And as that trip wire goes around there, it hits that little toothpick. Just barely, just enough to rotate that magnet. So it looks like the magnet is actually turning the rotor around. And like I say, it makes a really good illusion. But... Um, it's, that's all it is. Now I'm going to speed this up by moving the rotor closer to the driver. And that's how I'm adjusting the speed on this. Is I moved the rotor closer to the coil driver in there and I speeded up the rotor. And somebody made the comment in the videos that his rotor changed speeds. And that's one of the tells on these things is a real magnet motor would get to a certain point where it would just stabilize at a certain RPM when it, it got enough to, to overcome the friction that you're trying to fight against. The friction all over the place. There's friction everywhere here. And the driver has to overcome that friction. And that's what this um, drive thing has to do is it has to overcome the friction in order to keep the rotor moving and uh, that's what um, what a an, an, uh, an illusion has to do okay what I'm going to do now is I'm going to carefully take this apart and show you what I've done let me stop this here take this off there's nothing in there and take this part off. Now, there's nothing in the base, and he shows the base. At one point in time, he shows his base. But I think the on his, where the driver is, because his is vertical, his is going around like this, is a hollowed out place in here, and then he put a laminate over the top. Now, let's see if I can get mine apart here. I'll show you what mine looks like. Mine is just a simple, simple little reed switch driver.
and that's all there is to mine. It's just a reed switch in there with a button cell and a coil of wire. And it fits in this um, fits in this thing like that. And that's how you make this illusion. Anyway, that's where I think uh, my thoughts are in this uh, magnet motor. Fun little project. Thanks for watching.